There's going to be a bolt here and a bolt here. So once you get those bolts off, you want to come back here and then there's going to be this access panel. You got to just Okay, so if you guys can see that white tab in there, I just pulled it up. You want to push it up so you can unloosen your headlight. That white tab right there where the light is pretty much showing latches the headlight in place. You want to just push that tab up. It's very easy. It's pretty loose. And the tab I'm talking about is the one right there. So once you pull the tab, you'll be able to actually pull the headlight out now. So I push the headlight out a little bit from the back side. So now on the left side of the truck, you want to just push in and up to be able to open up the hatch. And then if you look in here, the lever is in there again. Let's see if we can just push out the headlight. You can definitely see a, a brighter display of the light. So that white lever right there is the one you want to push because it latches the headlight for whatever reason. Now that we got those steps squared out of the way, I think the smarter decision would be to put the fog lights in first because they don't require the canvas that the headlights do. And if you guys look right here, check out my nice Smith & Wesson knife. I just had to tighten the bolts in the back of the blade was getting kind of loose. Definitely a nice knife to have, my friend gave it to me. So I'm underneath the truck here and it's definitely a lot easier to change out the fog lights. So to the headlights, we got the connector to the light right here. So I'm just gonna turn that to unhook this part right here. This little screw that you can pull out, pulling the cord because you have to turn it long enough. So there we go, that is the stock bulb for the Ram Cummins, and we're going to replace that with an Oxbean LED right now. So I'm about to do something real sketchy, I put them on top of the tire, and there we go. There we go, got that one in, and now I'm going to test it and make sure it works. And there we go, the LED light is working good, and this is the Oxbeam one, and now let's look at the stock. Definitely a giant difference. Holy crap. That is definitely a lot brighter and it's it's daytime the sun is out So I can't wait for nighttime and to be able to see the difference you can easily tell that that is a lot brighter so What I also like about LED lights is that they also use a lot less power So that's a good thing I have two batteries So I definitely want to save the life of them both all right guys So I took it upon myself to paint the stuff that you can actually see through the grill now when the stuff was chrome it actually made it less visible to see. Kind of makes sense because on the Silverado hood, you wouldn't be able to see the designs as well when everything was chrome. But anyways, so I don't know if you guys remember the last video, but that stuff that was building up in the cooler way down in there, I was able to take care of that. And I must say that stuff smells very bad. It's starting to decompose. I must say the smell is awful, but I finally got that stuff out. There's some more over there. I kicked it out of the way. Also took three cans of paint here and just touched up on the suspension components and the front axle there was a lot of places that i couldn't get to with the paintbrush whenever i was up took the truck up on a lift to be able to paint it so i took it upon myself to use these cans of paint and finish the job right and the cummins is looking good There we go guys, two working LED fog lights, now let's get to those headlights. And just to make sure on the inside here, it doesn't seem like there's any codes or anything being thrown in the engine, so that's a good thing. No canvas needed for fog lights on a ramp. And yes guys, for those who are wondering, I did push those screws in that were holding the wires to the fog lights. Now it's time to get to the fun stuff. We got the canvas, so we got the canvas boards right here for the resistor, and then we have the LED headlight kit by Oxbeam. So I'm going to open this up. And there we go guys, got the grill back on. I actually did take it on my behalf to paint another layer of black onto the grill inserts because it was kind of faded. There was some parts that weren't completely painted. I had the grill facing down, so I wasn't actually able to get that much layers on the top portion of the grill inserts. But this time I really did a good job on it and I took care of it completely. I didn't want to have to do this again. So I definitely took my time to get that out of the way. I also got the heavy duty cover put back on the truck. Let's close this hood. The headlights did not fit on the truck, accidentally sent them the wrong model. So I'm going to try to get this resolved. We do have the fog lights installed. I do apologize, but there is the LED light. Let me cut to the clip of what the stock fog lights look like. All right, guys, so I'm outside with the Ram here, and the moon is out. It's very dark. This is how bright my headlights are. 
and this is without the fog light. So now let me switch on the fog lights real quick. Now let me walk up. Obviously it's going to get a lot brighter now. But yeah, the headlights, they're alright. I don't know if I'd say they're brighter than the Silverado. I feel like the Silverado has bigger and brighter lights. But these will definitely do. Now these are with the stock lights. So that's what the stock fog lights look like at night. And I'm going to get the new ones here at night as well. I'm here with the Ram. This is the stock headlights. Box beam fog lights. Honestly, the fog lights are brighter than the stock headlights. Oh my gosh. That is so much brighter. Just look how bright that is. You can easily tell that the fog lights are doing all the work. They are way brighter than the headlights. Yep. Easily tell. The Oxbeam fog lights definitely take the 